Shalom and welcome to another episode in our continuing series, Faith Journeys with God in the Land. Today we are at the Jordan River at a place called Yardanit. So this is a very wonderful place called Yardanit. I'm actually at the baptismal location provided here by Israel as the water exits from the Sea of Galilee into what is called the Lower Jordan. And here at this place we can celebrate the renewal of faith in Christ as we are immersed in the river. Now today is a, a sunny day, it's January, so the water is rather chilly today, but it's always a wonderful experience to bring people here and to hear their faith proclaimed in Christ and to know that they are renewing their faith as followers of Jesus. Now, this Jordan River flows out of the Sea of Galilee, as you see behind me, all the, the white birds. But this particular part of the river extends all the way down and flows, I should say, to the close to the uh, Dead Sea. It doesn't quite make it any longer to the Dead Sea, but when we talk about the place where Jesus was baptized, uh, that's no doubt further down uh, almost across from Jericho. Actually, John 1 talks about a place called Bethany beyond Jordan. And that has been pretty well identified by the Byzantine Christians as a place honoring where Christ was set apart for ministry. So this is a, a symbolic act that we do here in the River Jordan. And I'll turn around again so that you can see uh, the water and the places where we baptize people. Now, the significance of baptism, of course, is we have a chance to proclaim our faith in Christ. Now, most in our group are reaffirming their faith, so the baptism is not, and nothing, anything to replace uh, the significance of one's primary uh, baptism. But uh, we have once in a while, in fact, we had today a few people who were being baptized for the first time. I know all of our kids, three of them, were baptized here in the Jordan River and this was their primary baptism. So what's really neat about this place is that people are proclaiming and really signifying to the group that they are growing in their faith and they want to be a faith follower of Christ. Uh, the word I use is disciple, but really the, the Hebraic concept or word is tamid or tamadim in plural. Uh, that would be a person who would want to take in every single word and follow the rabbi who teaches them. I think the word tamadim goes a little deeper than simply our word disciple because to be a tamadim mean, means to really literally uh, as it's recorded in rabbinic literature to follow in the dust of their rabbi. And that's what we do in our faith journey. We follow in the dust of our rabbi Jesus, Yeshua, who gave his life for each of us. And we drink in his words thirstily. I'm actually quoting from a, a rabbi from uh, the second century BC. And uh, that's what or how he defined a Talmud in terms of drinking in every single word, not wanting to miss anything that your rabbi was teaching. And of course, he not only taught with words, but through actions. So you wanted to exemplify what your rabbi was displaying himself. 
So here in the River Jordan, as we always do on these trips, we set, our, uh, set aside ourselves for this really a sacred purpose of, of following Christ as one of his Talmudim, a person who really is all about uh, offering uh, ourselves to the purpose of the kingdom and of course the redemptive purpose of living out our faith so that others can see the reality of Christ in our lives. So what an honor it is as a pastor, as a leader, uh, to baptize people here, especially those proclaiming their faith for the first time. So our faith journey really includes opportunities uh, to live out our faith and state to Christ. Every day we need to do this. Say, I want to be a follower of of you. I want to be a Talmudim. I want to be set apart for a sacred purpose. And uh, that's how God uses us in his kingdom. So with these words, I hope that you are encouraged in your faith walk with God today. Until next time, Shalom.